You're my boy, dude! Welcome back, guys. Blue Smoke Chaser, YouTube channel. Going to be going over the Pit Boss Pro Series uh, PB1100 PSC2. Uh, we're just going to do a quick review of the grill, uh, show you some ins and outs with the thing uh, right here in a second. What's up, guys? Uh, let's go into our review. We're going to start over here in the back. So we're going to get a point of this right here. This is how you drop your pellets from inside your hopper. I'm going to flash right here. So you pop this hopper open. See, we're full of pellets. Augers down in there b below. We'll close that up. But if you ever want to drop these pellets out of here, you spin this, pull this tray out, drop this cover here. And then once you drop that, you'll have your bucket underneath to catch all your pellets. That's if you want to change in and out. Obviously, you can see we're electric. Still running that same uh, Pit Boss uh, electric. Still running good. Uh, got a nice durable handle here. Actually made into the actual frame of the, the smoker, which is pretty sweet. You know what I mean? Like I said, the hopper's here. Um, your flame broiler. Um, I wanted to actually cook in this already, so I'm actually left it dirty for a reason. Um, so when you pull this in and out, I've noticed something in here. Let me take the grate off. So with these porcelain grates, give you your good grill marks. It's cool. So where you got your flame broiler handler, handle here, which we've been seeing a lot of in these videos that I've been looking before I purchased this one. Um, when you try to pull this and you've cooked on it, and you've cooked on this, this is actually gunked up to where it won't slide. So the thing I'm, I'm seeing is you're going to probably have to clean this a lot uh, when you're grilling, um, after every grill almost, because this thing is jammed up. So that's kind of a fault I've seen in the in the in the make of these pit bosses and I've, I've been seeing with them that was kind of like a downfall to me um but other than that yeah it's pretty good uh like i said it's dirty i just cooked on it i made uh you guys seen the pork loin so i made the pork loin on it so then you got the nice rack here it actually sets in easy to remove it's got little grates little hooks here that this goes into sets. no no moving no wiggling it's perfect so if I open both of these up as well, if you're looking, I haven't cooked on the gas side, obviously. So I come over, we got a smoke damper in here. So you can cold smoke on this side. You can cold smoke over here. Now, if you view this side right here, view this side down here. Now look at this, see how I pull this up? Now when I'm smoking out of, out of my smoker side, when I'm smoking out of my smoker side over here, the smoke is gonna roll through and into my smoker that I can control with this handle. Control it with this handle here. Boom, boom, in and out. See, there you go. Also, you got your little pop-up shelf with the Pro Series logo on it. Like I said, you got the gas side. Same porcelain uh, grates, cross thatch already. You got your deflectors on there. You got a grease pan all underneath the below. Well, this is pretty cool. They all come with the grease bucket. When you uh, purchase the Pit Boss, it comes with that uh, that grease bucket underneath. And it's already got a liner in it, actually. You can buy those liners at like $4.99 for like a, I think a five or six pack or something like that. So then, you know, you got your whole gas assembly side. You got your burner on the side, obviously. One eye burner. Gas, uh, gas hookups underneath the bottom. And a cool thing I actually seen with the actual uh with the actual review of this they actually got a keeper here to keep your hoses intact and out of the way but when they were i seen a couple of the pit bosses when they assembled this whole assembly here you had to assemble that with this model when you come out of the box with it and you're building it from the wheels stand all the way up you don't have to assemble that anymore that comes already assembled and all you have to do is unscrew this but these two pieces together, screw that back on, and you're like literally in the game, ready to go. This is like one of the most easiest plug and play systems I've seen. You got your gas, actual gas can keeper here. So you're, for your propane, it'll keep your propane on there. You got actually a footer on the bottom that'll actually set that off the ground, which actually looks pretty cool. Your matchstick holder. The funny thing is, you know, I've been grilling for a long time and a lot of my grills never had a matchstick holder. Adjustable. Uh, damper on the chimney and the cool sterling silver handles on it nice little temperature gauge on there and like I said so you still got your flame broil handle here 
come down to the digital PID control. See, we have the IT on it, the Smoke It app. We're connected to the phone. Um, that's like one of the best things. That's what like really made me buy this grill is that Smoke It app. Um, connect to your phone. You can control the temperature across town. You can be, you know, across town controlling your temperature. As long as you're hooked to the Wi-Fi, you're good. Um, power on button. It's all touch screen. Uh, and when it's on, you know, you set your temperature. I want to set it, I just push it. I turn it up, push it again, temperature set. Uh, so I'll tell you the fan is on, the igniter is on. So now what you'll see is the auger button will come, come on on the PID controls. But when you're looking at it on the app, it'll actually tell you when the auger is on and it's running, when the fan is on and it's running. You know, it's pretty awesome what I see. Um, the recipe button, you can set nine different functions uh, for your recipes. Uh, it's pretty neat what you do. Uh, say like uh, you have your meat or whatever it is, you have your chicken, you want to set it to 160. Um, you, can, it'll, you can program the temperature and the thermometer and the time. So you want to plug in with your meat probe and you say, hey, I want to set it to 160. Uh, what it'll do at 160, when it reaches there, it'll alert you on your phone. Once you get alert on your phone, you'll just go on ahead and you'll know, hey, my chicken's done. You know, ready to pull it off and that'll actually set your temperature for you so it'll start shutting the, the smoker down for you which is pretty neat you know what i mean i've seen so you got your two probes here they got covers on them as well you know what I mean? it's a uh, it's pretty ergonomic you know what i mean got a nice little sleek design to it um other than that man the thing's really like it's very easy to to take apart clean up the like I said, the flame boil uh, tray, the drip tray, the drip pan, the bucket, all that stuff's pretty easy to clean. Um, I do recommend you get you some uh, light degreaser uh, and some grill cleaner to run this. But you see how you have the no, uh, there's a no probe, no probe. You have these two here that'll tell you when you have something in there, tell me when you don't have anything in there. When you shut this down, hold this three seconds, it'll shut down for you. And it'll tell you, hey, we're shutting down. This takes like a five or 10 minute uh, time to shut down. It'll automatically cool the, the grill down um, and then it'll shut itself off. Uh, it'll go back to normal and rest it. Um, but yeah, man, that's that Pit Boss Pro Series 2. The uh, smoker gas combo. You got the stoppers here for your, for your lids. Got a little smoke rolling, see that? Looks pretty, man. Yeah, we're about to cook some other stuff up here tonight, maybe some burgers and dogs or something like that. And uh, I guess we'll see you on the next go-round. Thanks for watching.